Well, quite cool for him, Pong. It's been some journey for you, released by Crystal Palace, and you're playing Sunday League football for Chipstead. Some of the hard work you've had to do to get pro deal. Yeah, it's all been a graft, to be honest. I've had a lot of lows, but just working through it, believing, believing in myself and believing that I could get here. So it's a big day to finally sign my first professional contract. Just remind us what age you joined Wimbledon and how it came about. Um, I joined Wimbledon at the age of 16 after being recommended by Ben Thatcher. Um, I played for Chipstead with his son and he has a good relationship with Robbo and he told him to have a look at me and yeah, that's why I'm here today. Do you feel it's it's reward for all that graft you've put in throughout the years? You know, you know, that's what it's all about, to become a pro footballer. Yeah, definitely. I always thought if I keep working hard, the chance will come one day and I'm grateful for how it came, so yeah, definitely. And you mentioned Ben Thatcher then, um, he was a hard man. You seem to have shown that yourself with some of those midfield performances. I try, man. I, I have to put 100% effort when I'm on the pitch, you know, so I'll do whatever I have to do to help the team win. For those fans who haven't seen you play, is that a key part of your game and what's your overall game about? Yeah, 100%. You know, when I'm playing, there's a lot of passion. I've, I'm just, first thing on my mind is to win, help the team perform. So yeah, there's a lot of passion in my performance, I see. I'm playing at Plough Lane last season with no fans there. What does it mean to play in front of them next season? It would be amazing. Obviously at the Test match there was 2,000 there, but the atmosphere was still great. So to play with a full stadium would be brilliant. And we've seen you down at the training ground putting all that hard work in. You've also got a background with Ghana. Yeah. Explain that one. Um, yeah, my whole family's from Ghana. Um, I lived there when I was younger. I moved there like six months and I lived there until three years old. So yeah, that's that's my roots, that's my background, yeah. Real ambition then maybe to represent your country? Hopefully, you never know what happens. Yeah, yeah. And back to more immediate matters, I bet you can't wait for pre-season and, yeah. and getting into those games. 100% man, right now it's just the work stage, getting past, getting fit and just can't wait to get the game started and get back into the full flow of the season. Is it a real benefit at this stage of your career as well that you've got someone like Mark Robertson as head coach of the first team? 100%, you know, coming through the academy and knowing how Robert is, what he wants from his players, his vision is very good and like, I feel like a lot of players have full belief in him and that can only go one way for the club. And you were released by Crystal Palace as a youngster, what age were you and how tough was it to bounce back from that? Yeah, um, I was 11 years old when I got released but I just... I never let it phase me too much. Obviously, initially when it happens, you feel sad, but after that, I just focused on getting where I wanted to be, and thank God I'm here today. How much does Wimbledon therefore feel like home now? Oh well, yeah, this is definitely my home. You know, I haven't been in the academy system for a long time, and coming in, they made me feel welcome. They trusted me, allowed me to develop and blossom. So yeah, definitely my home now. Was you scouts of playing locally then? I mean, you had chips there before that, but did you have chances to go to other clubs? Um, yeah, I had a few trials at other clubs before coming to Wimbledon, so yeah.